Well, shake it. So what can I get you, macho? Yeah. Whiskey, please. Glad to see you're still dedicated to draining the top shelf. And this is back in town. I was sure you'd even be allowed out of the house, man. You know what? Um, second bottle. Have a water. Let's see. Water, please. What, are you scared to even take a swig? Yeah. Bubba's got you on a tight leash there, Batman. Not tight enough. I'm not spoken like a man who's been having some extracurricular activities. You can say that. Well, can't give advice without knowing the details. All oh, due respect there, buddy. I, uh, I'll talk to you about a lot of things when marriage isn't going to be one of them. Oh, come on, Macho. Porn's only part of the job, man. You can't run a bar without becoming a bit of a counselor. So spill. This by any chance about a uh, frisky balloon surgeon with a thing for darts? That'd be the one. And now you're worried to get back to your wife. I don't want to lose Robin. Well, then don't tell her. If I don't tell her, I have a pretty good feeling that Lisa will, and I think it's better that Robin here's coming in. Man, that won't do a damn thing to cushion the blood. Trust me on this. Look, the key to wedded bliss, keeping your mouth shut, and if someone else calls the question, deny, deny, deny. <clears throat> it was just one night, and now Lisa wants more. I don't know what to do. Uh, well, I've never been big on loving it myself. I mean, um... What can I say? I gotta eat Miss Fried Chicks, but damn, man, you cheat with the wrong one and things can get ugly. And I mean fast. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. I gotta get Lisa to back off. I, uh, well, I don't see that happen in the night, pal. At least not uh, now, anyway. case. I owe you a consult. I am so sorry. No, no, I totally don't... slipped my mind. It's okay. You have more important things to deal with. Any word on the lizard's baby? So the only lead the police had to go on turned up dead. The nurse I hired. Well, the kidnapping wasn't your fault. Dr. I'm the chief of staff. It's my job to ensure the safety of every patient in this hospital. And in the last 24 hours, my nephew turns up missing from the nursery. Your uncle gets shot and nearly dies in the hall along with Ethan Lovett. Not exactly the way my grandfather used to run this place. Your job is to save lives, and that's exactly what you did. If it wasn't for you, Ethan would be lying in the morgue right now, but instead he's lying in a hospital bed flirting with nurses. I think Dr. Hardy would be really proud of how you handled the situation. You kept us calm and focused on how to best help the patients. Which is how this conversation started. The Rollins case. You have the file? Oh, yeah. Uh, given her history, I think a drug protocol would be the best course. I'll take a look. Get back to you first thing in the morning before rounds. Okay. Is there something else in here? It's, uh, it's personal, but it could have professional implications. I think Lisa's trying to sabotage my marriage. I was afraid that you wouldn't show up. We need to talk. About what an ass I made of myself? Yeah, I'm pretty clear on that. I'll chalk it up to cabin fever, or lack of sleep from the lockdown. I mean, okay, whatever it was, I was totally out of line. You know, it's just things have been so tense between us, and I thought, you know, if you walked in on me in my underwear, you, it, it might, it might help light the mood. We were at work. Somebody could have walked in. Robin could have walked in. How do you think that I would explain that to her? Okay, like I said, completely out of line. Okay, and I am sorry. Right, Patrick, we've been friends for a long time, and I don't want some stupid lapse in judgment to ruin that. Okay, so what can I do to make it up to you? You need to stop. You need to stop the flirting. You need to stop bringing up what happened between us. It was a mistake. And if I led you on in any way to make you believe that there was going to be more, there's not going to be any more. 
I love Robin. Lisa, as a friend, I'm asking you to just please let this go. You know, at first it was just stories about the good old days and then it became darts, a couple up and overs at Jake's. Now Lisa's working overtime to imply that her and Patrick are having an affair. Is there any way I can help? First, you can tell me that I'm not being paranoid. Well, it's pretty clear she still has a thing for him. Yeah, and, and you know, marriage is hard enough without having an ex hanging around. And then when that ex is a co-worker, it makes everything that much more difficult. And not just for me, for Patrick, too. So, uh, I was hoping that you could encourage Lisa to transfer to Mercy or Malawi. <laughs> the more distance between us at this point, the better. I went out with Lisa a few times while you were in Africa. I thought things were getting serious. And, um... Well, isn't it possible that she could have been using you to get to Patrick? You know, to make him jealous and remind him of what he's missing now that he's a married man. So maybe it's just as awkward for you to be around her as it is for us. I slept with Lisa. And I think if I try to pull rank and get her transferred, she could possibly claim sexual harassment and pull this hospital into a big, ugly lawsuit. As long as Lisa's doing her job, I really don't have a leg to stand on. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have made this about work. It's just, This is something that Patrick and I have to deal with on our own. But thank you for listening. I hope it works out. You deserve to be happy. Do you remember the weekend at the Cape? It was our first real vacation that we had together. Uh, see, this is this is what I'm talking about. We can't do this. We can't keep going down memory lane. We're not those people anymore. Yes, we are. Okay, the only difference is I don't have any illusions about what's going on between us. I mean, we're friends, and the benefits part is something that we fall into out of habit. Lisa, we can't keep going down that road. Well, okay, habits are hard to break, but I am willing to try because our friendship means more to me than some drunken hookup. Okay, good. Thank you. Guys are broken bottles, huh? No, she uh, she gets where I'm coming from. You sure, man? That was the old Lisa that just left. Well, it's good to hear, as long as uh, the old Lisa's not a chick that holds a grudge. 